is equivalent to a red airway and if we choose a green the top of the green responds equivalently to the size of the Goodell airway. The airway is small if you compare it to a conventional laryngeal mask airway you can see how much smaller it is. Compare it to a size 4 eye gel airway you can see that it is also much smaller. It is a low pressure device. If I insert it, I am using a mannequin here. You insert it and you go behind the tongue until the tongue, uh, you feel it go past the tongue. I'm going to insert it with, it's a deflated airway, I'm going to insert it with 45 mils of airway and you can see that it brings the jaw forward and it sits over the laryngeal inlet. Putting airways into sawn off mannequins isn't easy, but it gives a demonstration here of how it sits. If I compare it to a size 4 laryngeal mask, which doesn't want to easily sit in the cut off mannequin, you can see that it really is a, what I call a periglottic airway and that it is obtunding the esophagus and sitting over the laryngeal inlet. And if I put it in, you get, on this mannequin it gives you some idea of the high pressure of a, that can be achieved with uh, a small cuff. And I think you can see that. If I put an eye gel airway in, I'm going to choose a size it also sits periglottically. If I just demonstrate with the tulip airway again, this is a deflated tulip airway. It goes, sits there, just behind the tongue, deflated with. 40 mils, you can see that it pulls the jaw and the tongue forward and sits over the laryngeal inlet. And it gives you a demonstration there of the, the high volume of it and therefore the low pressure that it exerts. 